Hey guys, my name is uh, Seps Knight, and uh, welcome back to uh, a little bit of Vampire. A little bit of Vampire. Um, yeah, we're playing some uh, some Vampire. What the hell was that noise? Oh, it's Tangy. There's a cat. His name is Tangy. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. We have murdered the game entirely. Uh, this might be the finale, and it's part 13, because I edited all but the last episode yesterday. <clears throat> so I know how many parts there are now. So, that being said, um, oh, there's stuff and things. Nice. You're alive? There's living people still? I thought I took it's care not. of that problem. There's a cat on the desk. How do I... No, Tangy. Nobody. Come here. Come here. I love you. I love you. Look, it's Tangy. Go that way. Okay, now I can't tie this around my neck just yet because I'm still very sore. However, I have it perched because this is probably maybe the finale depending on the uh, length. Whoops. Now, I am 100% aware that it's locked all right. That by my actions, I have missed out on several side quests, plenty of lore. I don't even know if I'm going to find out who my maker is because of my decisions. I'm aware of that. There's a reason why they encourage you not to do the dark playthroughs. I understand. You might not get all the answers you're looking for from my playthrough because you guys asked for a dark one. It's totally not my fault. You, it, This was you, not me. I understand that I'm also the one who pulled the trigger on all of these actions. I get it. I'm the bad guy. I I accept that. <clears throat> but yeah, th th there's no way I'm going to get everything this game has to offer because I chose the dark route. Personally, I think it was Dimitri's fault because he pressured me before anyone else did. So, I have no idea how to get where I need to get. Look. Oh. Oh, that's right. Is that? I think that's him. There's, there's, there's mummified bodies down here. I wonder if there's a way to change your clothes. Hide this stupid haircut. I would like that. I probably should have looked that up. No, I'm thinking about it. Mm. Oh well. So are you telling me that that old woman in the bed in the beginning of the game that I really wanted to kill is now the final boss of the, of the game? Because that would be something else. I understand everything's hostile. I've murdered the city. This place has been ransacked. Oh, they're hostile down here too. <laughs> They've all been slaughtered. Prewan. No, not their style. Yeah, Harriet Jones went freaking ballistic and ate everyone. Why am I still collecting money? I feel like I didn't play this game right completely on the first playthrough. I'm gonna have to play this game again in my spare time. I'm gonna be a good boy. Follow the blood. I didn't realize that there was blood trails. I didn't. I didn't pay attention. Ooh, that's a lot of blood. Where has Harriet gone? She must have left a trail I could follow. Yeah, it's pretty distinct. I have max stamina. No, I'm not supposed to divert. 
but shit. I just wanna I I, I wanna see what she looks like. I know I, I have like this fascination with like Resident Evil esque monsters, and you can't tell me that the Oh dear. This is my maker. Are we finally gonna get some answers on my maker? I'm gonna grill this bitch. Take not a step further, child, for you are unprepared. You, at last. I wondered when you would show your face again. Step away. We have nothing to discuss. Desist, child. You cannot confront the monstrosity unleashed upon this land without due preparation. I shall not allow it. All right. But no more riddles. Enough of the obscure songs and prophecies. I ask questions, and you answer them. My words have been as clear as crystal lakes, my child. You seem unwilling to drink, to listen, to learn. Why did you choose me? Only you could provide a modern, scientific answer to this ancient mystical thread. What kind of modern answer? Disease, contagion, and contamination. How they course through veins is your dominion, my child. Your choices have made you. Only you can save this land. I already broke this land, though. Tangy is... <clears throat> the blood of hate. Vessel of the wrath of the goddess. When she awakens, a disaster will be born into this world, for she is hunger and anger. What is your true appearance? I do not understand. This is who I am. Blood? You are made of blood? Surely you are joking. Why would I? And no, I'm not made of blood. I am blood. Blood is what I am since my birth and for eternity. What? Now how are there fang marks are at the beginning? Really? Tell me your name. I am your maker. I am the servant of the Red Goddess and protector of this land. Come on, cats. I have many names. What's one of them? Just Give me one, then. There are those who call me Murdin Wild, the Wild Horned Man. But I never was a man. There's so much sunlight going on there, making this look blood. bad. Okay, so... I'm here to stop Harriet Jones. She is the original mm. carrier. The well from which this corruption flows. I have heard you, but be wary. Harriet Jones's mind is no more. She has metamorphosed into an apocalypse. Born from, drenched in, and driven by the blood of hate. That's not good. Tell me about this disaster, creature. I know London fell victim to such a thing in 1666. A disaster is pure anger born through blood. Its name means bad star, for they only appear when our queen unleashes her unquenchable wrath upon the world. Oh. And who is this queen? She is the Red Goddess, the Queen of Blood. In my youth, a hundred lifetimes ago, she was worshipped as the Morrigan. She is my mother. She is yours, too. The Morrigan? The Celtic goddess of war? Is this a ruse of some kind? She has been worshipped in many forms throughout the ages. The true nature of the Red Queen is beyond your comprehension, eluding even mine. But no Come on, Lilith. She is a vengeful mother. So the disaster is some sort of accident. A disease vampires carry dormant in their blood, waiting to emerge. That's your modern answer. 
but a disaster is causing an apocalypse of his own right next to me. Less and more. Tell me what it is then, in your own words. A disaster is the Hang on. will of our queen. Whenever she dreams of walking this earth, she awakes in this putrid vessel. Sorry about that. Tangy's just been kind of a brat. Yeah. Well, he was... There's a window right there. Which I always thought would be nice. It's just a cat distraction. What is the blood of hate? It is the curse of the goddess. It is the hunger in you. The need for blood. The will to strike and to punish. To spit in the eye of God. <laughs> I only wish to know how to put an end to this epidemic. To perform an act so noble, you must protect yourself from its poisonous kiss, my child. I know. McCullum used such a serum when trying to kill me. However, I have produced a more efficacious version of the antidote. Your final task awaits you at the end of these tunnels. I've known for ages you were worthy of this challenge, my champion, Bittersweet. Will it be over then? Once I've defeated this creature? Yes. The threat will dissipate like so much smoke, for you will have purified its source. And then what? What will become of me? How would I know? I am no god, and your fate is in your own hands. Yeah, I broke the city. For you are our champion. I kind of killed the city, actually. What will happen thereafter? What future awaits me beyond these dark tunnels? Your fate, my child, and the fate of this land. A disaster is about to enter this world to smite us <coughs> all. And I already did that. Humility. You are our final hope. You tricked me. My sister died for your schemes. I have brought suffering and tragedy into this world. I am not, nor will I ever be your champion. Very soon you'll come to know that sacrifice is sometimes necessary. I understand the grudge a child bears towards his father and mother. Be brave, my child. So it's a little disappointing that he's like that. These poor skulls didn't stand a chance. Wait, I want to go this way first. I just. Oh, nice. Uh. <clears throat> I was kind of hoping that there would be something like more eventful. But there is not. Hang on, let me just make sure I gotta look really quick. Make sure X was still picking everything up the right way. Because okay, that looks good. That's that's acceptable. Because the cats have just been ferociously agitating. I can't stand it. This is despicable. Rat, 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 rat. I wanna go in there with full blood meter. I have this. Thirst for blood. I know that. Stop saying that as if I haven't been eating I everybody. I'm doing this. All right, here we go. Ew. Ew. I'll be glad to be of assistance. Ah, oh, like your help, Doris. Liars! All of you! <coughs> How do you even know about that? That just happened. My poor baby. I've been such a bad mother. But the Queen herself forgave me. Gave me another chance. Harriet, 
You must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? How can you stop the course of nature? Did I just inject myself with that? I guess I did. What a start. Oh my god. That's embarrassing. Is it really going to be this easy? Is it because I ate everyone? Man, I prepared myself. I psyched myself up for this and everything. They took my daughter from me. Yeah, they did. I didn't. That was... Ah, she's gonna blow up. That was way too easy. Oh, no! See, that makes more sense. Okay, that makes more sense. Is this like... I know it says the Red Queen's avatar, but like... Is she like Lilith from True Blood? Like the first vampire? Did you just pull my face off? I'm about to die. I did say it was going to happen. However, I, I couldn't predict it properly enough to avoid it. Damn it! Okay, she resisted it, but the damage was still done. I haven't used my gun yet! I need a big boy swing. Got her! No one could ever defeat you, mother of us all. For you are our every root and leaf. What's happening? You've always been my most amusing son. Then go back to sleep, my queen. And smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us all. Until the next time. Until the next time. Wait. Can I just... Whoops. Okay, hang on. I am just double checking. It has been recording. Okay, good. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to break the moment. I just had to make sure this was actually being recorded. Oh, where's my so it's over then, young Ekon. You have put an end to this terrible menace. 
Old Bridget. What are you doing here? I thought she was dead. This is my realm, Ekon. This is Suascal territory. You can keep it. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come, engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. Yeah, I would never kill anybody. I thought you'd been slaughtered with all the other sewer scars. I was up above, in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I have no idea what it was. It's over. I have avenged my poor Mary. Yes, you prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize, really. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what's happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed, newborn vampire, stepped forward and saved us all. I'm honored to be part of this city's legend. Thank you, old Bridget. May I ask you just one question? How could I refuse you anything now? Yeah, I've murdered the city. I'll answer just as I answered Lady Ashbury. When we met a few nights ago. Who are you? Really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever by making me drink his blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you too, now that all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then, young Ekon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. Uh, I feel like this is the part that's decided by the way you treated the city, and considering that there is no city, I feel like this is about London to go very poorly. This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will crossed paths with mortal imprudence. For now, we are safe. For now, my craving for blood remains. Red like hate, red like hunger. Red as life and death, passing from one immortal to another, from predator to victim, patiently biding its time to rise again. London has been cleansed for now, but there's a simmering hatred, fear, and old grudges. When will we succumb, mortals and immortals alike? The next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love, to understand why she fled, and unmask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long. Well. Probably just gonna take this into the end of the game, honestly. And then I'm gonna record Minecraft. You're a vampire and you drive that. Oh, I guess that is the time. I was, for some reason, I thought this was modern. Well, this is it. Lady Ashbury's domain. Why am I not surprised it's not on any maps? I better hurry. Yeah, the sun's coming up, Broham. What? Oh, yeah, you? Beautiful morn, my child. It looks like dawn is here at long last. Can't you just leave me alone? Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from when she came. The nightmare is almost over. I am here to say goodbye. 
the sun's warmth exhausts me. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. You did well. I killed everyone. This is not over. I am here to find the true origin of the blood of hate. It is unwise to interfere with a tale rooted so deeply in the suffering of others. No. I must know why Elizabeth fled here when I discovered she was the original healthy carrier. No. She is not what you say she is. That is a secret you will discover soon enough. And you? What? Why are you here? Which new thread of which old twisted plan are you seeking to pull now? Tell me the truth. I am just here to salute my sons and to bid them fare thee well. How many sons do you have? Your sons? Plural. My God, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? Perhaps I am too old for your spoken language. Perhaps you now have so many subtle words, you no longer hear the simplest ones. Speak clearly then, and answer my last question. What is it? Did I defeat the epidemic? Now you've found the castle, Jonathan Reed. Only you can answer that. Farewell, my child. Hey. I shall dream about you soon. I hate this guy. I hate that guy. Kitty. It's locked, all right. Of course, the it's always locked. locked. Decrepit. Maybe I can find a way to sneak in. Can I go upy? Oh, here we go. This isn't the uppy I was looking for, but it is an uppy. Aha! Tangy the idiot cat. He's not good at jumping yet, and he's like... May... June, July... June, July... It's locked. So he's like six. The lady old. of the manor isn't expecting Almost. visitors. Well, I'm Maybe here. It's just my imagination, but I think I smell Elizabeth's perfume. Woo! Thank you for your countess. Must be here somewhere. This castle is falling apart. Eighteen eighty eight, wow. I gotta find her. Oops. I didn't mean to fall down here. That sweet fragrance. Elizabeth's perfume. She was here and recently. Right now you're getting a little bit creepy. Locate the secret passage. This chanting looks suspicious. Alright, well hang on now, in case I got another fight to do. This is despicable. So this painting looks suspicious. I have this thirst for blood. I can't believe I'm doing this. This painting looks suspicious, but there was no- oh, that one? The big one? Well, hang on now. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Which painting were you talking about, dickhead? Is it this one? Is it these ones? Is it one of these ones? That one. 
There's just a door out. A sword oh. and a moon are the symbols I should look for. Okay. Sword and a moon. I hate this. I just want to know what's going on. Another switch. I should keep looking. There's probably ah. What are these symbols? I can feel a mechanism, but it doesn't work. Here's another switch. I should keep looking. One last switch, and what are these symbols? I can feel a mechanism, but it doesn't work. This is confusing. I'm confused. I see three. Is there what, four of them? Or something? I don't know. Oh, here we go. One last switch, and... Wait. Sword. That's the moon. And now the sword. Voila. Where is she? God, she's got like a pretty gnarly ass place here. Oh, she right up here. Drop your sword, father. You have nothing to be afraid of. Shall we abandon this then? Shall we lower our heads? No. No. You taught me that. You're blue. Why are you blue? Blood is approaching. Old but young. How strange. Shall I drink it? Smite it? No, father. He is a friend. Please, rest. I'll take care of it. Gaution, Elizabeth. Deceit runs through these veins. I know, father. I think she knows I'm a bad guy. Jonathan. You ran away, that's what happened. Is this really him? Yes. This is William Marshall. Whoa. First Earl of Pembroke, servant of five mortal kings, former regent and savior of England. The greatest knight who ever lived, according to some. And you called him father. For he gave me eternal life, and much more. I have so many questions, Elizabeth. You always had questions, Dr. Reed. Now that I stand before you both, in this vault, I know not where to begin. We still have a few minutes left. Why did you flee here? When you told me I was the healthy carrier, I had nowhere else to go. You mean you had to return to the real source of this scourge? Yes, to end it once and for all. Where are we? What is this place? This is the Ashbury estate. I inherited the title when I purchased the castle. Is this your retreat? Something of a secret place. It's more of a sanctuary, really. This is where I take care of my father. Ever since he became... unwell. 
Are you not afraid someone might discover you here? It's not that hard to find. Do not assume that I would hesitate to silence anyone who tried to reveal my secret. Fortunately, it has rarely come to that. Will you go back to London? No, Jonathan. I do not intend to. But you had your whole life there. Not anymore. Especially after my dear Charlotte was murdered. I did that. I have destroyed the disaster. This creature that Harriet Jones had become. The epidemic is no more, and London will recover. In time. No. London is doomed. The East End, Whitechapel, the West End. So many districts gone. And soon the whole country will follow. This city has been rotten to the core for so long. If it wasn't this plague, it would have been wiped out by another catastrophe. I cannot bear knowing I was the cause of all this, through the use of my own blood. No. This catastrophe was the result of unethical experimentation, and the will of a creature so inexplicably evil, she exceeds all the terrible wonders I have seen since my death. But it was my blood all along. My corrupted blood of hate. The poisoned blood of my father. A healthy carrier. That's all I am. William Marshall infected you. He is the true original carrier. Yes. But he saved me by sacrificing himself. Saved you? How? The tears of angels. The cleansing of impure blood by an older, more powerful blood. It worked on me, did it not? Yes. Blood is the definitive key to our species. Scowls, cleansing, lineage. Do you really think it worked? It has, Jonathan. I was nothing but a beast who took pleasure in slaughter. I roamed across Europe, reaping my bloody crop. It was the blood of hate. But my father's antidote cured me. Who are you, really? How could I answer that? I went through many lives and identities to reach this day. To you, I am Elizabeth Ashbury. And that's all I wish to be. I understand. And I respect your desire for privacy. Thank you, Jonathan. You should have told me. No, Jonathan. <laughs> Instantly prize after saying it's fine. Part of so many hostile plans. I could not risk jeopardizing his safety. So why did you come here? You knew I would follow you. I can't let you go. Because I know now the blood of hate is still in my veins. No one but I can put an end to this tragedy. I can help you. You can trust me, Elizabeth. I know, Jonathan. I killed your daughter. Most loyal ally these last few weeks, but this is my duty. Would your protege agree to speak with me? I have so many questions for him. Go on, Jonathan, but be careful. Why is he like super vampire? He don't look too good. Yes, Sir William. My God. You really are William Marshall. You served Richard the Lionheart and his brother, King John. It is such a privilege to meet you. I did in my day. Come closer if you want to speak. For my hearing isn't what it used to be. I think your hearing is fine, sir. What is it you want, then? The blood of hate. How does it affect you? Do you feel it now? The blood of hate? Yes. Nothing more than a sneeze, really. A sneeze held for so long, you could blow a fortress down if you released it. Do you remember Murden, your maker? Only God is my maker. For he created everything on this earth. 
He blessed me with eternal life through his archangel, Michael. But Murden, Michael, is a vampire. He made you a blood-sucking creature of the night. Blood, yes. I used to drink it from the throats of the unworthy. Then I was punished for my deceit. During my penance, I rely entirely upon my sweet Elizabeth. We could set you free, let you out. Isn't that what you want? I pray for the day I'll see the sky again. I have all but forgotten its colors. I could walk and do so many things beneath the stars. But I doubt it would be wise to release me. Then will you stay here and repent? Elizabeth told me it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek after so long as she releases me. Oh, so he's gonna croak. Has the time come? Yes, Father. Why not unleash me then? To see the sky a final time? You already are the sky. And all its stars. I'm not defeated. For I welcome the sword you bear. For it is mine. You were never defeated. Just Lord. kill him already. Sucks. And to you also, Jonathan. What do you mean? I can't stand what I've become. This healthy carrier, as you put it. The flames will purify the poison that runs. Wait a in my minute. Face. No. I won't allow this to happen. I am death, Jonathan. Wherever I go. We are vampires. We are death. No, Jonathan. I won't bring another disaster into this world. I can't lose you, Elizabeth. Even if it means putting the whole world at risk. How can you say such an awful thing? Where is the Jonathan I once saved from a scowl in this abandoned factory? I'm not that frightened man anymore. I've learned so much. Done so much. I see. So there is nothing worth living for in this world anymore. Farewell, my love. Farewell. Something tells me she wouldn't have done that had I done something, anything better. Man, I, everyone's dead, man. Dimitri just texted as the game was ending. Guys, try to keep schedules free for the 20th. I want to do d and I will do my best. One prayer for the summoned, called by this song. Child born from darkness, whose path he must find. Now the song is sung and your path chosen. England is safe, the price paid most dear. But what do you care? You are the one who keeps killing. You've chosen your path, my fallen champion, like others before you. Prey to lust and desire, slave to the everlasting thirst. My queen sleeps once again, and I'll soon join her slumber. Until alas, she rises, woken by the hunger never fed. What? See, here's the thing about people who speak in riddles. I don't understand them. Uh, taste for blood. I'm assuming that's get the worst ending. Alright, guys. That was Vampire. That was, I believe, the darkest ending you could possibly get because I misbehaved constantly. So, let me know what you thought. 
Holy shit! And be sure to check in for the next one, because I want to see you there.